In this tutorial, we're going to use the defragmentation utility built into Windows, and then we're going to download a new defragmentation utility. So we want to go ahead and click the Start button, and go to All Programs and Accessories. And under Accessories, there's a System Tools. And under System Tools, we have the Disk Defragmenter. On the Disk Defragmenter, we'll go ahead and open that. And in Windows 7, the Disk Defragmenter should show all your drives that are defragmentable, if that's a word, and we'll go ahead and highlight that drive and we'll go ahead and say defragment disk. Defragmenting or defragmentation is where you keep installing new programs on your computer and you use your web browser and that puts files on your computer and you create new files on your computer and then you delete files and you delete programs or uninstall programs and all of that puts files, keeps dumping files and dumping files and dumping files on your hard drive and as it does that, Sometimes Windows isn't very efficient about keeping the pieces of those files together because a file fits on multiple sectors of a hard drive. And so if you think of a hard drive as you get close to your old television and you see all the little dots on the television and that those little dots are what actually make up what's showing on the screen, it's the same thing with your hard drive. It's all those little dots make up all the files that are on your hard drive and one file doesn't live on one dot or one sector one file lives on many, many sectors at a time, especially depending on how big the file is. And so when that file gets dumped onto a lot of different sectors that aren't close to each other because there was no room or because Windows just dropped them in into weird spots, the files aren't actually together where they should be. And so it makes it hard for, say, you go to run a program and that program opens up a picture file, like a really big Photoshop picture that picture might be spread out all across your hard drive. So in order to show that picture or to bring that picture into Photoshop, Photoshop's gotta pull it from all over on the drive, which causes a lot of drive movement, which is inefficient. And what happens is you defragment, it takes all those fragments and puts them back together so that they're back in order. So that one big picture file is all in one spot on the drive. So it's really easy for Photoshop to find it and open it. It doesn't have to do a lot of drive movement. It will also realign the drive. So it'll take in, if you've got a bunch of empty space on your drive or a bunch of space that isn't in use, the defragmentation utility will reline up all of those empty spaces and basically bring all the information on the drive down to the bottom so that when you do install another new program or create a new file, it'll go to the top of the drive where there's more room for it to not get fragmented. And that's all that this uh, defragmentation utility is doing right here. It's not very graphical. It doesn't really show us what it's doing. Um, we're going to let it finish here, and we'll probably have a little time lapse where we jump forward in time. And then I'll show you another utility that actually shows us what it's doing and actually does a way better job than just the basic disk defragmenter in Windows. So, And once it gets done doing the defragmentation, it'll just go back to the default screen here and it'll show the last time that it was run. So we just ran it a couple minutes ago. So we want to go ahead and close the disk defragmenter and we'll get another utility that's actually a little bit better of a utility. This is a free utility called My Defrag. So you want to go to your browser search bar and type in My Defrag. And My Defrag is usually the first link. So we'll go ahead and My Defrag. And we'll go to the downloads and you'll see it's a free download here. We'll go ahead and download it. See the download bar here. I'm going to save it to the desktop. So I'll save as, choose the desktop and save. And you can see that it finished downloading. So we'll go ahead and close out of all that and we'll run it right off of the desktop, double clicking on the new file that we downloaded. We'll start the installer. Go ahead and say run or OK or yes to any of the security things since we know we just downloaded that from a safe site. Then we'll go ahead and just do the next, next, next on the installer. And we've got my defrag installed. You can go ahead and delete the original install file. And we can start my defrag up and we'll say yes to do that because we know we downloaded that from a safe place and we know that it's a it's an acceptable program it's not a virus and then we're given some options here so in the options you can see some different drives the c drive is our primary drive you can see it's got a lot of space 
and on the C drive, what we want to do the very first time, if you've got some time, you might want to do on the C drive. The C drive is what we call a system disk because that's where Windows is usually at. So if Windows is on your C drive, then it's a system disk. So we'll do a system disk monthly. That's a huge defragmentation uh, process. So we'll sl select the C drive, select the system disk monthly, and click run. And then it'll do a major defragmentation on your system. And this is a graphical representation. So now you can actually see what files it's moving when you look at the toolbar at the top. And you can actually see the files moving if, you're, if you've got good eyesight to watch the files zip across the screen. And you'll see eventually it'll start lining this up and everything will get more lined up and more lined up as we go. As we jump through little time lapses here, you'll notice that it's becoming more and more lined up as we time lapse. And that's because it's just sitting there doing its job. And now you can see that over time it's lined up all the files and put all the files into a more logical order. And eventually at the end it'll say finished here so you know that it's finished. And that is how you install my defragment and do a defragmentation on your hard drive.